Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's April uh, the 18th, 2022. We are going to talk about Sandbox today and this changes everything. I'm going to show you something from the long-term perspective that will kind of insinuate that price in Sandbox is going to continue to go lower. Welcome to my channel. Before I talk about it, before I show you the information off of this one price chart, then go ahead, hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe here to my channel. I want to make sure that you guys can understand that you can predict prices without being confused. You don't have to use technical indicators. You don't have to, you don't have to put in, you know, hundreds of thousands of hours just to try to research these particular type of cryptocurrencies. All you have to do is pay attention to what everybody else is doing with their own money. And that is where the price chart is. This is the playground of what everyone is thinking. Everybody from the smallest individuals who can only buy one sandbox token to the big massive institutions of businesses who's trying to accumulate this currency. You can see everyone's idea just by simply looking at the price chart. So let me show you what I'm talking about and how this could possibly change everything regarding if sandbox is going to go up in price. Now make sure you hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to my channel if you guys are new to all of my day ones. Definitely appreciate all the support you all have been giving to me with the views, with the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right, so check this out. I did a video in Sandbox. I did an update video in Sandbox on April the 7th, right? So let me zoom in on this real quick. So you guys can see it's right here, okay? The update video was here in Sandbox on April the 7th, right here. And I was telling you all then that I was still looking for a sandbox to go down because you guys can see I had this price prediction on the chart since March the 21st, 2022. And it kind of told us even then I was playing the weakest into the market in sandbox. The market got a little bit of life into it, but it still got rejected to this horizontal top line there to which I already anticipated that, that was going to happen. Price since then has been coming down. So I'm not surprised that the price in sandbox is coming down. I've been in position. I've been waiting for this day to occur ever since March the 21st. Yes. Now the question is, look how low I already got the market trying to go to where we can find the buyers. The buyers I'm anticipating is going to show up right there around $2.45. Now, once I show you the long-term perspective, you might want to change this. The market may actually go a little bit lower than what we're looking at right now, $2.45. All right. So first, since we are starting out on a new trading week, let me show you how last week ended. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. So look at this. This is Sandbox here on the weekly time frame. And every price bar that you're looking at right now is a week's worth of price action. Right. So over the last four weeks, the market in Sandbox has been going lower. Yeah, it's been trending down. If the market was truly a buy, then the market would be going up, meaning that there's a lot of people who's willing to buy the price wherever it's being traded to lift this coin's value. But it's not happening. Instead, the market is going the opposite direction. You guys can see it. Now, that's the weekly time frame. Let me show you two weeks. What do you think about the two weeks? Does this look bullish to you? I think I've reiterated numerous times how important it is going to be for us to see the buyers show up right now. They need to pop in and show us that they're willing to buy Sandbox at $2.45, $2.40. Look at how long this market has been elevated above $2.40. And now we're coming right back down to this level. We need to be paying attention to this. If you're worried about whether or not sandbox is going to continue to go down you need to be paying attention to the market right now because the decision is about to be made and when i look at this from the weekly to a two weeks time frame it doesn't look exactly promising that the market's going to be able to hold two dollars and forty cents this is the three weeks this is where i'm seeing it this is where i'm trying to tell you that this changes everything for us to see over the last three weeks right look at this the market in sandbox got rejected up here at three dollars and seventy five cents and it ended up closing down here at the very bottom. We don't want to see that. What we wanted to see is the market bounce off of this two dollars and forty cent price and close higher than the lows. But we didn't see that. So I think the market in sandbox is going to crack 
try to break to the downside that two dollars and forty cent price yeah you're not going to see a lot of people give you this information because they want to make sure you stay happy five weeks yeah here it is the last two five weekly price bars we got to keep it real we got to look at the what the market is actually producing and if it's producing to us weakness we have to see it for what it is that five weekly price bar right there inclusive of this one definitely tells me that this market is weak in sandbox so we got to determine let's say for instance the market doesn't hold two dollars and forty cents where do you think the next level is going to be have you paid attention to this have you seen this have you seen that what do you think the chances are of the market in sandbox coming and bouncing off of this line what's the chances because that would be the next likely area if the market is not going to hold two dollars and 45 cents or two dollars and 40 cents that's going to be the next net for us to cast price hmm. so let me show you that on a daily time frame because this is where the market trend is Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom out. Bring this in a little bit closer. Let's get prepared for it. Okay, now that's a far way away, right? That's very far from where the price in Sandbox is right now. And I know a lot of you don't think that it could go that low. I know. I know many of you think that price in Sandbox cannot go that low, but let's keep it real. What trend are we in? You tell me what trend are we currently traded in in Sandbox? Is that an uptrend or a downtrend? So yeah, it's probable that we can see price in Sandbox come all the way down to this trend. And even if we do, let's see how far away we are. That's like another 40% drop in value for Sandbox. And many people ain't considering. So, I'm still playing the weakness into the market in Sandbox. I still suspect that the market in sandbox is still going to go down and that long term price chart changes everything about how low the market is anticipated to go in that time frame in the long term. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this out a little bit lower. I will skim off some profitability, though, right there around two dollars and forty five cents. That gives us twenty two percent profitability. OK, so like, let's not be crazy. We already anticipated that the buyers can step in here. So, yeah. Let's take some off now. Matter of fact, you can take some off now. That gives us 16%. 16%. And I'm still looking for the market to come down. My second price target is going to be around $2. I might do it like $2.15, give or take. Okay, $2.15. All the way back down to this trend. Now, this trend, seeing the price come all the way down to this trend. It's going to be a while and I get it. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen, you know, two weeks from now. I'm not suspecting that it's not going to happen, but it can. But I'm not looking at it really happening relatively soon. It's going to be a slow and methodical movement to the downside until we see buyers. Until we see buyers. We're going to continue to play that weakness. OK, so let me go to these lines and we're going to continue just paying attention to see how low the buyers go. We have. Two dollars and forty cents first, or two fifty, right? Second area is like two dollars and fifteen cents. Third area, which is the long term, is around like a dollar. I'll say around yeah, a dollar sixty-five, dollar seventy. All right, so that's it. We just need to kick back and wait until the buyers step in, and then that's when we'll know. We'll need to come in and play around too. Now it's your turn. Hit me up. Let me know. What do you all think about Sandbox? Where do you think the price is going to go? I've drawn my conclusions. I've shown you what I think the price is going to do. Now it's your turn. Let me know. Make sure you maintain profitability. And as always, trade different.